Hi, it's mystery author Ellie Alexander. Welcome to my tort test kitchen where food meets fiction. As always, I like to remind you I am not a professional pastry chef, but I play one in the pages of my mystery series. This week, I am headed out for the rest of my book tour and I need a fast, fun fall treat. So I can't wait to share what I have in store with you. Stay tuned and we'll get baking. If you have been following along with the Tortoise Kitchen, you know that I had not one, but two books come out within the last couple weeks, which means that I have been out and about and I'm still gonna be out and about meeting readers, reconnecting with friends and family on book tour. I love getting to leave my little cocoon here in Ashland, Oregon and go out into the great big wide open world and chat about books and cozies and baking and beer and all those awesome things. But that means that my home life is a little scattered for the next few weeks. And so I've been trying to think about quick and easy fun snacks for my teenager and his cross country team. And I came up with this recipe for a little like tort style spin on traditional Rice Krispie treats. Mainly because if you've ever made Rice Krispie treats, you know that they are super fast and super easy. But in my Bake Shop Mysteries, Jules and her team at Tort always kind of likes to elevate and put an artisan spin on a traditional classic. So today I'm gonna make a brown butter fall Rice Krispie treat gonna be almost like a little pumpkin spice in a Rice Krispie treat. No, I will not say pumpkin spice, I refuse. Are you on the pumpkin spice yes side or not so much side? I don't know, but let's get baking and we'll see how these beauties turn out. I am very excited with how these turned out. It smells like fall in my kitchen, just with that little hit of nutmeg and cinnamon and cloves and the brown butter. Once that butter reaches the browning point, it's so important to take it off the heat right away. You'll be able to see it and you'll smell it. It smells like, mm, like toasted nuttiness is the best description I have. I think these are super cute for fall and um, if they would last in my house, you could put them in an airtight container and keep them on the counter for a few days. You could also freeze them for probably a good few weeks, but I have a feeling these are gonna disappear before I get back from the rest of my book tour. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Tort Test Kitchen. As always, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell to get notified whenever I share new videos. Happy baking! <laughs>